and welcome back to combat mission Red Thunder, the new expansion pack, Fire and Rubble. We are still here during Operation Spring Awakening. This is the situation. We have uh, the following, like, there's three kind of um, areas of interest right now. We have the farm here, which we want to clear. There's enemy infantry here, we are attacking from this direction with our scouting infantry, one of whom got um, wounded. We know that there's an SU-100 in here as well. Um, what we will do now is uh, the tanks from here, for example this one, that can see it will shell this area and more infantry will move up and at some point we will have to clear it, I hope, without getting a, a lot of casualties. I also hope that at some point we can identify in what direction this SU-100 is actually looking and then take it out with a Panzer IV. If it's looking in this direction, I will have to drive up here. If it is looking in this direction, I will have to drive up here. I'm pretty sure I can take it out then, uh, because it doesn't have a turret. But uh, I need eyes on that, so that's the first one. Second one is the vineyard. We took out all the tanks in support here, but there's infantry all around these uh, hard to see areas and we don't have a lot of infantry here ourselves. We only have this one already depleted um, scout troop. They have one machine gun, one rifle. Um, I know that they had some Panzerfalls that they shot at our tanks. I think this area might be cleared, but there are still people here and we will shell them with our tanks and hopefully drive them out of there so our infantry can get in. Now over here, at the Highway 64, there's infantry here, obviously, which we will shell a little bit. And after that, however, the actual area of interest is over here. There's a half-track here, which is of no real use, but they have an SU-100 here in cover behind the cells. So what I want to do after driving away the infantry from here is take uh, our Panzer Ace, uh, Ernst, <laughs> and uh, maybe this one as well, and flank around here to get behind them and take these out, which hopefully will give me, um, well, basically the win, because I think this is the last of their armor, and if I take that out, uh, my tanks have basically control of the map. So yeah, that's my plan. I think, um, here we go, I think down here probably the most interesting, so this is where we will carry on, because this is where the guy just got taken out at the end of the last video. I hope we can get that machine gun back. Yep, they're shooting at us, obviously. Our infantry is uh, responding. You can hear in the background the Panzer Force shooting and the Panzer Force here shooting as well. We also have people in here, which somehow shot out of there, even though that should be. That sounded like we got a bunch of them. Also, our half tracks are uh, shooting at these areas as well. Did we take that building out? No, oh, there must have been one in the vineyard. Oh! Okay, okay. He's looking in this direction. So we attack from here. This one's already destroyed, in case you don't remember. This is our plan. Normally I would lead a bit more with infantry, it's just that I don't have any. <laughs> Shelling with HE rounds here to keep their head down. The fire's not turning around. Another 
of Thunderbolt, and another he didn't hit again. Don't embarrass me in front of the YouTube audience, guys. Okay, that's better. Luckily, the AI didn't wreck there at all. And that was it. I think we took out the half track finally. Um, yeah, okay, so we have infantry in here. Cowering. And in here, and I think the Panzerfaust came from this direction, maybe. Our infantry, or what can laughably call the infantry, is attacking. Okay. As you can see, I'm giving fire support from behind. Over here, I will start another end run. Along this axis. To get behind this barn position. With uh, Ernst, uh, the best tanker of the German army. Here we have to still root out the infantry. I hope we suppress them a little bit and also they are uh, as you exploding kind of made them think. Russians in the grass. Getting close here. I know there's somebody in there. We know there are at least some Russians still in here. so we're shelling it quite heavily. I also hear fighting from the vineyard, so I think that's where we're going to be next. So, let's rewind a bit. Inception. Actually, no, there was, there was the other Nolan film. Never mind. Okay. Over here, we're also... This is our infantry force here. The tanks are shooting the machine guns in here, and we hope, I hope nobody's hiding in there, taking a shit. They have faith through that. from the tank to see if anybody pops up. I think that's basically what I will have to do here. Yeah. Last time over here I actually knocked out a half track which I didn't notice before. I'm now hunting forward the tank. I know that the SU is here. Oh, that's in I hope not one of the Panzerfaust kind. Oh well, yeah, that will make uh, hunting forward a bit harder. Troops. I 
think we're taking out more infantry over there. What's going on here? I know, I think we're contesting the objective, so that's good. But I didn't hear any fighting from here. Oh, there's a lot of dead Russians here. Obviously because I shelled it with my tanks. And here we go. Total victory. They surrendered uh, relatively quickly. We lost 11 men killed, 8 men wounded, 2 tanks, one of which was the Jagdprinzer 4. 2 armored vehicles, um, 251s. So that's good. Um, they failed everything because they surrendered. Uh, they lost 87 men. Well, they had a lot of lot more men than me actually. Uh, 46 wounded actually. One man uh, kept shot. Nine tanks were lost. Well, SU-100s and three uh, other armored vehicles. I think two half tracks and that BA-64 that popped up in my flank suddenly. Only 27 men. Okay. Okay. Let's look at that. What was still left here? Okay, there's, they are broken, but there were still two guys with the PPS 43s and another uh, guy with the PPS H41. And I only had these two dudes to root them out, so that could have gone ugly. Oh, there's actually more over here. Yeah, there's also another PPS. So I would have to uh, have uh, rooted them out. Um, yeah, still a driver here. That squad. And oh, there were two SU-100s over here, actually. Interesting, really interesting. This is the one that I spotted, but there was another one here. That being said, with my tactic of uh, coming around the corner here, I would have taken those out basically immediately. Holy shit, these guys are actually uh, crack, the HQ. These only regular. Generally, I wonder what were the skill levels here, regular as well, because I had some crack panzers, including, of course, uh, the man himself, um, Ernst, who knocked out four SU-100 tank destroyers. Now, that's worth a medal. Also, these uh, half-tracks and a bunch of infantry. He was also cr um, of crack skill level. But yeah, this guy too. So that would have been a worthy opponent, only of course the AI is so stupid it wouldn't have reacted. Like if this was a player, I mean obviously his infantry would have spotted this, the player would have turned these around and looked in this direction. But the AI it's, it can that's the thing with computers, they can't really predict stuff like that, obviously. So, yeah. What do we have here? There's, oh, there's actually still a few and there were veterans too. Like, just like my guys. So we had some very high quality uh, troops here. Although that um, squad leader, I think because the original squad leader got taken out, the squad leader is not so great. Regular, regular, th there was the SU-100 crew. Veteran, yeah, there was one survivor in that barn after it collapsed. So yeah, still, I mean, if they hadn't surrendered, my guys, because as you can see, I have only these small scout troops here. They are well equipped with machine guns, I'm going to give them that. But um, I had only these scout troops, and I'm pretty sure I would have taken massive casualties, not massive, but significant casualties while trying to root them out if they hadn't surrendered. Our veterans, so 13 enemy casualties for such a team is not bad. I think that was because of the this engagement here where we uh, took them out in this ditch. These were also veterans, by the way. So yeah, pretty good troops on both sides here. So yeah, but in the end we prevailed. Um, I have to say, I like the scenario. I think it's cool. It's a nice, quick, very fluid battle because the density of forces is pretty low. So there's lots of maneuvering going on. As is often the case with these kind of scenarios, it gets easier, like usually there's a hump where it's really hard and after you get through that it gets easier and easier as you start to basically unhinge the AI because that it, then it can't react. For me the hump was probably here and I was a bit lucky here that I sent so many troops um, into this area. I think that was completely the right call even though I didn't really think about it. Um, I lost one here but after that when I knew where the tank destroyers were, it was relatively easy to just say, okay, fair enough, they're non-turreted, let's just go around, you know. But uh, before I had spotted most of them, it was pretty hard. Um, the AI was at a big disadvantage due to their non-turreted tanks. Uh, note that the one non-turreted tank that I had, even though it was at crack um, skill level, this one, 
was actually taken out as well. Oh, it did take out an SC-100, I didn't, don't remember that. But yeah, this one also got taken out. So yeah, the, there was a big disadvantage, especially with AI being uh, only mildly clever at best. Um, so uh, yeah, that being said, on the other hand, I was at a bit a big disadvantage in terms of infantry. I mean, I have these, uh, I have, I think six, three men groups and then look at uh, what was in this farm alone. I'm pretty sure they had more people. I mean, no, they're all dead, obviously, or casualties. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, that was the Panzerfaust team that shot at me. I'm pretty sure they had more people in this farm and in this ditch alone than I had infantry. You know what I mean? So uh, that's pretty, pretty harsh. Um, in the end, without the surrender, I might actually have run into trouble. I could have cleared this area, maybe? Oh no, the other way around. I could have cleared this, maybe, but after that my infantry would have been so worn down and brittle and also out of ammunition. I'm not sure I would have been able to get these guys out of the area reliably, or at least not without lots of firing with the tanks randomly. But yeah, okay, the surrender kind of took care of that. Um, I kind of want to, real quick, that's not too boring, but I kind of want to check some of the SU-100s and what their skill level was. Uh, it doesn't say. And the crew all, uh, I mean the crew in this one burned probably. In Gravity Team you can uh, look at, even though I, you can look at where they got shot from and by what, which is kind of cool. That being said, I always never am able to co really interpret these properly. They are kind of weird in Gravity Team. Let's see if we can see where that was hit. Not really though. Is that um uh, it's probably the site. Yeah. So that one completely burned out. I'm pretty sure wait, one second need to orient myself. I think one tried to flank over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, over here, which we took out. That was taken out by the Panzer IV, I believe. That one uh, did not burn and they just bailed out, but yeah, it also doesn't say the skill level. Well, it's kind of kind of annoying and I can't, I mean, it has a very busy texture, so it's kind of hard to tell where we hit that. Texture is generally kind of, now that if you look at it too closely, it's kind of meh, like look at how it looks over the scenes here. And uh, like you can see it's actually the camo is continued under these things and so on. I mean, I don't know, I've seen better textures, but from far away, which is mostly how you look at it, it looks fine. So yeah, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it as well. I think next I might actually do one of the campaigns, probably the Russian Sh uh, Sherman one as a continuation of my Band of Comrades thing. <laughs> but we will see. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and have a very nice day.